can't do it right now, right? Oh, yes, you can, man. No, no, no. <clears throat> We're making so much progress. Yep, six whole steps. Someone give me a bozo button. Hey, give yourself some credit. You just broke your back. Yeah, a normal person would have been paralyzed the rest of his life. How long until I'm fully healed? The initial MRI I took a week ago showed a complete dislocation of the T12 to L1 inner space of the thoracolumbar junction. But this is the MRI I took this morning. It's remarkable, but you're almost completely healed. I'm still having trouble breathing. That's totally normal with a spinal injury. It should clear up soon. We're gonna get you back in that suit, Bear. Real quick, trust me. Flash season two, um, how was it for you? It was good. It was a, a really successful season, I think. We we got to delve into a lot of storylines, timelines, multiverses. It was really, really fun. And how do you think Iris kind of developed over the series? Well, I think emotionally she was going through a lot at the start of season two, um, you know, dealing with the loss of Eddie and then discovering that she, her mother was still alive and that she had a brother. So there was a lot of emotional kind of storyline that uh, um, Iris was really struggling with. And I think by the end of the season, we saw her kind of move through that finally and kind of open her heart up um, again. The second season was great. I mean, we had a lot of fun. To see everyone go to Earth 2 and see everyone's Earth 2 doppelgangers was incredible. And how did you feel kind of Caitlin developed across season two? You know, Caitlin went through a lot. Of, at the beginning of the season, she was still mostly recovering from Ronnie's death. And then, you know, she had this new romance with Jay. And then he turned out to be not the greatest boyfriend. So it was, it was a lot. What was the most challenging uh, part of season two for you to shoot? Um, I don't know. Maybe doing Earth 2, just because it was, you know, a completely different version of Iris, and there's very little time to kind of prepare for that. So it was really exciting and challenging all at the same time. And what was the most fun thing about season two? Uh, most fun thing, again, the same thing, getting to play a different version of Iris um, in Earth 2 and in the Speed Force. It's really fun as an actor to be able to kind of you know, expand on a show where you where you kind of imagine you'd only be playing one version of yourself for, for many years. I think I enjoyed being Killer Frost the most. I think that was the most fun of season two. You know, to really get to do something so totally different and sort of push the boundaries was great. And what was the most challenging aspect of it? Also, the most challenging <laughs> aspect of season two, I think, was all the Earth 2 stuff. You know, particularly in the episode where Caitlin and Killer Frost are stuck in Zoom's lair together. Logistically, that was difficult to shoot, but it was so cool, so I'm proud of it. So how did this happen to you? Woke up one day, cold, pale, thought I was sick. Turned out it was something else entirely. You got hit by the dark matter from the particle accelerator explosion? Yes, right after I flunked out of med school. Had to move back in with my mother. That couldn't have been fun. If she's anything like mine, I mean. Why? Is yours a frigid narcissist too? Cold as ice. Yeah. Mom was like that ever since Charlie died. Who's Charlie? My brother. I never had a brother. No? Then why was mom such a bitch on your earth? Honestly, yeah, I couldn't say. I mean, the show, in terms of what it can do with effects and stunts, keeps getting bigger and bigger. What was the most impressive thing to see back after it had been filmed? Because obviously I know these things look very different when they're created to how we see them. Um, a shark in pants. <laughs> That's quite a feat. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that was probably the one for me. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff, with King Shark is pretty incredible because we're basically acting to a tennis ball. And, you know, to see what Armin and the incredible visual effects team can do, it blows my mind. Um, same with Gorilla Grodd. You know, Gorilla Grodd, we at least had a man in a monkey suit, but uh, it looks so different on the show. Who wants you dead? Hey, put him down! Put your hands! Your friends in the air! 
And what are your hopes for season three? I mean, obviously, I know you can't say very much, but what are your hopes? Um, I, I, you know, I'm hoping for a new big bad villain, someone that fans can be excited about as much as they were about Zoom and Reverse Flash. Um, you know, I'm hoping to see Barry and Iris's relationship kind of develop and hopefully see a healthy version of, of their relationship. And I hope, you know, we see more of Iris at Picture News kind of being the ace reporter we know her from the comics. I don't know anything about season three, um, but I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited to see, you know, Barry went back in time something like 15 years. Like, I can't wait to see what he changed for everyone. And obviously the crossover with other elements of the DC universe is only keeping going. Um, do, they, do they expect there'll be more of that to, to come? I would expect that you can see more crossovers. I don't know for sure, um, but you know, now having four shows up there uh, in Vancouver, all sort of in the same world, I think it would be great. Central City believes in the Flash. So do I. The man who saves Central City hates to rain on your parade. My name is Jay Garrick. Your world is in danger. When you created the singularity above Central City, you also created a portal connecting our two Earths. Where I came from, I was a speedster like you. They called me the Flash. Before I arrived on your Earth, I was in fight with a man named Zoom, and he will do whatever it takes to ensure he's the only speedster in any world. Zoom has been sending metahumans from your world to fight me. Oh. You want to go home, you only have to do one thing. What's that? Kill. It's good to go out on a high note. There you go. It's like you think these things just grow on trees or something. Anyone close to the Flash, all of you, are in a lot of danger. This team that you have here... I'm Patty. Patty Spivet. Kendra Saunders. They will follow your lead. They'll do what you say. Mm, now I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. Woo! You out there. We don't yet know your destiny. Never forget, I am the fastest man alive. You wanna be me? Is that it? You wanna be a hero? Heroes die. Only if you can catch them.